It takes the right environment to properly grow. I can give you a seed. I can put this seed on the floor. I can throw it against a window. I can put it in a cup of water. If the seed does not have everything it needs, it will not grow. It doesn't mean that the seed does not have the things inside of it that it, that it needs to grow. The seed has everything it needs. You know, one, how many, uh, you know, you get one lemon seed, I think it can produce like 200 lemons. One apple seed can produce hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of trees and apples. Everything inside the seed is already in there and it's what's necessary to grow. It's the environment around the seed that makes it actually grow. It's the environment around the seed that actually makes it grow. So in, in, in our programs, in your program, and what we're doing with our kids, are we putting our kids in the right situation to properly grow? Are we putting our kids in the right situation to properly grow? All that you have inside you, everything the seed's gonna ever be, it already has inside of it. If that seed's gonna produce 2,000 apples, it already has it inside of it. But if you don't have the soil, the sun, the water, the time, it will never grow. It will never produce anything. It'll just be a seed. So when you look at our kids, our kids are no different. We, we, we probably have all conference guys already in the program. We probably have guys that can, that, can, that can help us win games already in the program. How are we gonna get the things out of them necessary to develop and grow? How are we gonna get those things out of them? Always talk about who you surround yourself with. Surround yourself as much as possible and I talk to our kids about this, and when I'm talking to other coaches, I always talk to coaches about this. Try, just try to find winners. I mean, in every aspect that touches your program. In every aspect. I mean, the question is, how do I get a group of people to operate at the highest level on a consistent basis? That's what a program is. I don't care if it's the equipment manager. I don't care if it's the guy that cuts the grass. I don't care if it's, the, if it, if it's, if it's your offensive coordinator. All these aspects touch the, the lives of our kids. And it's so important that all these aspects that touch our kids' lives are all aligned and we all have the same vision, the same goals, the same focus, the same determination. You can be a great offensive coordinator and let your kids go to the training room and have they have a, a horrible experience and then your kid goes down and tries to get some equipment and he got into a fight with the equipment manager, it's broke. Anything that touches your players' lives needs to have alignment. And it starts from the top. It starts top down and then it gets perpetuated inside out. Leadership is top down, inside out. It starts at the top, but real leadership is from within. And it starts in that locker room. And, 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 and not being afraid to cut ties with people that aren't doing things the way we need them to do. Surround yourself with winners as much as you can. And then you just got to decide what you will and won't tolerate in your program. I think it's really important. You just got to decide what you will and will not tolerate. And it's got to be clear and it's got to be defined to kids. 